What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with a voice assistant head-to-head -head showdown. On the left we have Siri and on the right we've got the new contender, Google's new search found in Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. Let's go ahead and put these guys head-to-head -head, see who comes out on top. All right, so the iPhone here is running iOS 6 Beta 2, and the Galaxy Nexus is running a pre-release Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. Let's go ahead and exit out, and I'm gonna ask it simple questions that I use all the time for my voice assistants. Let's go ahead and get started. What's the weather? It's 18 degrees with haze Nice and weather coming Here's up the through Tuesday. For the next few up days. to 79 degrees and partly sunny. So Galaxy Nexus came through first, and actually the voice, if you guys could hear it, uh, was a little less robotic on the Galaxy Nexus than it is on Siri. In fact, let me just go ahead and do a quick uh, demonstration here, just so you can hear what the voice sounds like. Uh, but this definitely did it quicker. What's the weather today? The forecast for Irvine today is 29 degrees and clear. So it sounds a little more uh, human-like, and it was in Celsius because I haven't changed those settings yet. Um, let's go ahead and try something new. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Setting alarm. Okay, 10 minutes and counting. So that was almost exactly the same time, but it looked like the Galaxy Nexus actually came through a little bit faster. Uh, let's go ahead and try some sports stuff. Who won the Angels game yesterday? The Angels beat the Orioles one to moment. one. The Angels definitively beat the Orioles by a score of 13 to one yesterday. That one again goes to the Galaxy Nexus by a lot, uh, actually. All right, let's go ahead and ask it some questions. How tall is Kobe Bryant? Kobe Bryant is six feet six inches Kobe Bryant is six foot six. So you see the cards that pop up, and once again, the Galaxy Nexus uh, beat it. The appearance might not be as pretty as Siri, but it's faster, and the voice sounds incredibly more human. Uh, let's go ahead and try a few more things. Remind me to film Nexus 7 review. Setting okay, I'll remind you to film a Nexus 7 review. When would you like to be reminded? So, turns alarm, tells me when I want to what set it. <laughs> so, I can remind you at a specific time. So you can see how things do it differently. Siri, by voice, tell it what I want. This pulls up a menu where I could select the different options. Uh, let's go ahead and ask it to show me some pictures. Show me pictures of French Bulldogs. If you like, I can search the web for pictures of French Bulldogs. So <laughs> the uh, Google search on the Galaxy Nexus just pulled up pictures. Siri is now asking if I wanted to search the web, so we'll do that. Yes. Searching the web for pictures of French Bulldogs. So when we, compare, when we compared Siri to S Voice, it was a complete blowout for Siri. When we compare Siri to the default Google search now in Jelly Bean, uh, really is essentially a blowout as well, but uh, not for Siri. Uh, incredibly impressive here what Google has done. This is an entirely new ball game uh, for Android. If Voice Assistant was one of the big reasons you were going to consider uh, an iPhone 4S, you might want to look at a Galaxy Nexus or one of the early devices that are going to be getting Jelly Bean. Uh, first impressions have been really impressive uh, of it. I'll do a full overview of Jelly Bean and walk through some of the new features, uh, but just going voice assistant to voice assistant, uh, really nice what Google has done. Now granted, both of these are still in beta, and once iOS 6 becomes official, and once Jelly Bean is officially out uh, and available to consumers on devices, I'll revisit these tests. But first opinions definitely has to go to the Galaxy Nexus.